हेलो दे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू दिस वीडियो सीरीज दिस इज योर इंस्ट्रक्टर ध्रुवी भट्ट इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक अबाउट थियोरी ऑफ डिमांड टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट समथिंग एग्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट टू डिमांड व्हिच इज थियोरी ऑफ सप्लाई दिस टू इज अ थियोरी इंक्लूडेड इन आवर माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स स्कोप वी वुड ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर व्हाट इज मेंट बाय सप्लाई आल्सो सिमिलर टू डिमांड शेड्यूल वी विल बी हैविंग सप्लाई शेड्यूल similar to demand curve we will be having a supply curve similar to determinants of demand we will be having determinants of supply let us move forward and try to understand each of these starting with obviously the definition of supply just like demand students supply is willingness and ability to sell instead of willingness and ability to buy here we are more considered about the willingness and ability to sell this is the definition here the quantity supplied of any good or service is the amount that the sellers are willing as well as able to sell at a particular price at a particular price how many goods sellers are willing to sell and secondly they can afford to sell how much goods can they afford to sell obviously because they are in the selling business they cannot make losses and sell so what is the number of goods they are willing to sell and able to sell that is the quantity supplied of any good and the quantity supplied at different different prices which means the relationship between quantity supplied and the price of a commodity is known as the supply the definitions are similar to the demand let us move further and try to understand that what exactly is the relationship between quantity supplied and price what happens if price increases or decreases to the supply say for example this is a smartphone which is priced at 40000 rupees as a seller listen to me carefully as a seller would you be willing to sell more smartphones at 40000 rupees or at 20000 rupees as a seller if i am a seller if i want to sell a smartphone would i want to sell more smartphones at 40000 rupees or 20000 rupees will i be willing and able to sell more at 40000 or at 20000 obviously the answer is at 40000 so if the price decreases my quantity supplied should decrease right now do not think about its relationship with demand i have a total new lecture for the relationship between demand and supply i know every one of you right now will be in the doubt that ma'am if price increases demand decreases then how are you saying that if price increases supply increases and if price decreases how can supply decrease if demand is increasing i have answer to all your questions in the next video but for right now think only from the perspective of an individual seller i asked you a simple question that whether you want to sell more at 40000 rupees or at 20000 rupees i think all of your answer is that you would want to sell more at 40000 so quantity supplied is higher at a higher price same thing happens with ice cream cones at price 10 rupees the seller is ready to sell less he wants to sell he is willing to sell only one cone but if he increases the price which is 30 rupees he is willing to sell three cones if he still increases the price which is 50 rupees he is willing to sell five cones we are here talking about the seller's willingness he wants to supply more cones at more price okay so we can say that as price of any commodity increases the quantity supplied of that product or commodity also increases this is not only true for ice creams but this is known as the law of supply the law of supply says 
that citrus paribus all other things being equal when the price of any good rises the quantity supplied of that good rises and obviously when the price falls the quantity supplied also falls let us move forward and try to understand what is meant by supply schedule just like demand schedule supply schedule 2 is a tabular relationship or it is a table that shows the quantity supplied of a good or a service at different price levels what is the quantity supplied of a product at different different price levels if it is shown in a tabular format then it is known as a supply schedule let us move forward and see the supply schedule of ice cream cones as you can see the price increases and correspondingly the supply of ice cream cones also increases the quantity supplied of ice cream cones also increases at 10 rupees the seller is willing to sell only one cone at 20 rupees it increases to two cones at 30 rupees it is three cones at 40 rupees it is four cones and at 50 rupees it is five cones then what exactly is a supply curve obviously it would be a graphical representation of your supply schedule it is the graphical representation of relationship between price of a good or service and the quantity supplied for a given period students if you try to think about the curve and i have also shown you here the tentative curve the tentative curve of quantity supplied with relation to price would be an increasing curve with a positive slope demand curve was a decreasing curve with a negative slope the supply curve is an increasing curve with a positive slope still don't believe me let us try to plot our supply schedule in the graphical format to make sure whether i get an increasing curve or not remember the values at 10 rupees i have taken the easy value so that you can remember easily at 10 rupees the supply is of one cone 20 rupees two cones and so on let me try and plot this on a graph of price versus quantity supplied on price versus quantity supplied our first point would be at 10 rupees where my supply is for only one curve one cone at 20 rupees i am willing to supply two cones at 30 rupees the seller is willing to supply three cones at 40 rupees four cones and at 50 rupees five cones i think i was right in telling that this is an increasing curve with a positive slope which is exactly opposite to the demand curve this is known as a supply curve the curve is known as a supply curve but this curve is true only if all other factors except price are constant as i told you in demand there is a possibility that there can be shifts in supply curve too what are the shifts and why these things happen in the law of supply we had the same word citrus paribus all other things being equal if price of good rises then quantity supplied of that good rises the main important thing to be considered was citrus paribus if this word is not written then law of supply doesn't hold what if something apart from price changes for example if your goods are destroyed or if there is some calamity an earthquake or fire due to which you cannot you do not have any supply at all then even at the same price you would be supplying less what happens if your ice cream machine is down even at 50 rupees you would be willing to supply zero cones these are other determinants which can cause decrease or increase in supply let me show increase and decrease with the help of examples any change that increases quantity supplied at every price shifts the supply curve towards right remember even in demand 
if the demand increases the demand curve moves towards right even in supply if the supply increases the supply curve moves towards right the supply curve moves towards right and this is known as increase in supply let us see an example if at the same price if you are ready to supply more when can this happen suppose the price of milk reduces then you would be willing to supply more even at a lesser price even at 10 rupees you might be willing to supply two cones at 20 rupees three cones and so on your entire supply at different different prices would increase and such a scenario is known as increase in supply let us see this on graph this is the graph of price versus quantity supplied where we have our first graph which is for the law of supply where all other things except price are constant but if something varies which causes an increase in supply we get an increase in supply and shift in supply curve towards the right what happens if there is decrease in supply a change that reduces the quantity supplied at every price shifts the supply curve towards left and this is called decrease in supply if the price of milk rises a lot then you would be willing to supply lesser cones at lower prices because you want to earn profits you will not be giving any free lunch right so you would want to sell more at mo higher price and lesser at lower price at 10 rupees it might not be affordable to you at all and that is why you will be willing to supply zero cones at 20 rupees maybe one cone at 30 rupees two cones and so on if the supply decreases at all the prices then this is known as total decrease in supply and it causes a shift in supply curve towards left let us see this in our graph this is the graph of price versus quantity supplied when all other factors are constant which is citrus paribus if this quantity supplied at all the prices increases the curve moves towards the right and if reverse is the scenario which means that quantity supplied at all the prices decreases then as you can see your curve shifts towards left the third curve above the so above the law of supply curve is the curve found if the supply is decreased at all the prices okay students you might be thinking that ma'am which are the factors which cause the change in supply we already got to know the factors which cause the change in demand which were those let us recollect those first before moving towards determinants of supply which are the determinants of demand we saw that the first determinant of demand was income second determinant of demand was price of related goods the third determinant of demand was tastes and preferences the fourth determinant of demand of demand was future expectations of buyers last but not the least the fifth determinant of demand was number of buyers as number of buyers increases the demand increases let us see determinants of supply some of them are similar to demand that is why we recollected determinants of demand what are the factors which change the supply curve which cause a shift in the supply curve or which are the factors apart from price which can change supply the first factor is obviously price of inputs as i told you milk or sugar are the input products to ice cream and if price of input increases then obviously the profit margin of a person decreases and that is why the supply at the particular price also decreases if price of input product increases then supply of the finished product decreases remember this thing students if price of raw material or input product increases then corresponding supply of the finished product 
decreases. Okay. Moving forward to the next determinant which is technology. Students, as technology improves, you can afford to sell more at a lower price. Say for example, if you have an ice cream machine, instead of manually making the ice cream, the ice cream machine can fill up five different cones at the same time. So it will help you decrease labor. You will have to pay lesser employees. Secondly, you will have many products ready in less amount of time and that is why you can afford to sell more at a lesser price. At higher technology, the supply is also high. As technology increases, the supply of product also increases. As the technology increases, the supply also increases. Remember this. Moving forward towards the future expectation. What happens if a person feels that if the seller, here we are talking about the future expectations of the seller. What if the seller thinks that a particular commodity will increase in price in future, then his current supply will decrease. When seller reads the news that shortage of chocolates is expected he will decrease the current supply instead of increasing it because he knows that if there will be shortage of chocolates the prices of chocolates will rise very high in future and that is why he will start storing chocolates he will actually create a shortage even if there is no shortage at all to make sure that prices of chocolates rise high and he can sell the chocolates when the prices hit to a higher mark. This is what happened with onions. The farmers were actually holding the goods. They were storing the onions to make sure that it rises to a very high level. The price of onions rise to a very high level. And once they achieved the price rise, they started giving out the stocked onions. So here we would be talking about future expectations of sellers. If the sellers think that the prices are going to rise in future, then they will decrease the current supply. Okay. Moving forward to the last determinant of supply, which is number of sellers. Obviously, as total number of sellers increases, the total supply also increases number of people making ice creams increase for example initially there were only private dairies which were selling ice creams compared to that now we have Wadilal we have have more we have cream bell etc as we have increase in number of sellers or number of producers of the commodity the total supply of the market increases as number of sellers or number of suppliers increases the supply also increases as number of sellers on internet increases the total supply on the internet also increases okay students that was all about supply i hope you got to know everything if you compare with demand we can see here that Two determinants are almost same. There we were talking about future expectation of buyers. Here we are talking about future expectation of sellers. Secondly, there we were talking about number of buyers. Here we are talking about number of sellers. That was all about today's lecture students. Thank you so much for such patiently listening to me. This is Dhruvipat signing off. Until next time. Bye-bye.